Labron remains the tailback and moves to the left. Give goes to Labron right up the middle. Touchdown, Marshall. How about that? 10 plays, 79 yards. Starts with this run game. To be able to run the ball at Notre Dame like they have. Awfully impressive by Marshall. Some different looks. There's a lot of stuff to deal with when you have that inver inverted wishbone look that they like to use here. Splash a little water here. Hand the ball to Leyburn. He runs it in the end zone. Here's Reese Vierhoff on to kick. He was perfect with extra points in week number one. Not this time. He missed it. Chris Tyree, the tailback. Bucker looks to the right towards those traps, and that pass is intercepted. Micah Abraham had a pick a week ago, and Abraham in the first half, another interception. Told you about those NFL bloodlines. His skill set is unique, and he stole it away. Back up on the football. Keep it with Butler. Penalty marker flies as Butler goes into the end zone. You see the ref. Taking his time, and he's going to go check with the call. Defense. The penalty is declined. Touchdown. Get Buckner moving downhill, and everything looks different. That's it. And, Jack, you said it at the outset. It was a glorified Wildcat quarterback last year. Let's get him doing that. He was pretty darn good at it. Awfully good here. Makes an excellent decision. Three quarterback runs got this drive started. Throw it to Michael Mayer a couple times and let, then let Buckner finish on a quarterback run again. Great mix by Tommy Reese. Here comes Groupie, transfer from Arkansas State. All the confidence in the world, standing at 5-7 and a buck 56. And Veerhoff missed an extra point earlier. This not much different and gets back on track right down the middle. Two-point Marshall lead with 15 seconds remaining in this first half. Veerhoff missed that extra point. It's why it's 9-7. He got back on track with a field goal in the first half late. Hits another here. 12-7 Marshall. Bring in Sherwood, his fullback position. And they'll go quarterback sneak right across the goal line. Touchdown, Notre Dame. You see Marcus Freeman holding up the two. Holding up the two. Love the call by Tommy Reese. Let your big guys up front go to work. And put Davis Sherwood right behind in a tight fullback alignment. Buckner gets low, gets in behind the offensive line. Sherwood pushing from behind, a good surge by the Fighting Irish. Now they're going for two. Summer of bench press paying off for Sherwood. <laughs> Two point try now. Shotgun look. Buckner rolls to his right. Buckner has room out in front. And Buckner in for the two. Iris lead by three. Columbia drops. He's protected well. Plenty of time. All kinds of time. Columbia taking his time. Fires to the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. Devin Miller. Henry Columbia is a sneaky good athlete now. He doesn't like what he sees initially, gets himself out in space, keeps his eyes up the field. Devin Miller, everybody says he just does things the right way. He did it the right way for Marshall there. The extra point is through, and it's a 19-15 Marshall lead with 5-16 in the fourth. Here's Buckner, pressure coming. Buckner stands in and fires his balls, intercepted. Gilmore down the sideline, pick six, Gilmore.
And the extra point is good. 11 point Marshall lead, full 35 in the fourth. Wow. Hey, it's a mirror image. We saw Micah Abraham earlier sit on a route and intercept it. This time it's Stephen Gilmore sitting on one of these little hitch routes. It's excellent coverage. It's tight. It's an unbelievable play on the ball. A hands catch. These guys have a great feel outside. They're playmakers at the corner. And that's the biggest play of the ball game for the Thundering Herd. Now Pine is looking for a last second effort here. Hits Mayer, has the touchdown. So lead. Go back to a quarterback run here. What, what are you calling here, coach? It's a good throw here. And a good contested catch by Michael Mayer. Obviously, they're going for two. Quarterback run isn't necessarily Drew Pine's strong suit. You like to give him a chance to get out on the move. A run pass option, some kind of naked. Mm -hmm. Give him a chance to use his feet out in space, but more importantly, give him some options in the passing game. Only 14 ticks remain. Here's Pine. He's going to try to scramble and just brought down and brought down hard. This Marshall defense, they have risen to the occasion. Martin, Burton, both there to get him for the sack. DNA of the defense is pressure, pressure, and more pressure. We've seen it all day long. And we've seen it at the big time moments. It's heat off the edge. Mm. Kerry and Martin wrapping up Drew Pine. He had no chance. He needs to show everybody that. There's no doubt that he will. Mm -hmm. Columbia knees it down in Coach Huff. A moment that he will remember forever. Coach Huff worked for Nick Saban at Alabama. I had the opportunity to work for Nick Saban with the Miami Dolphins. He used to always talk about bringing his team to Notre Dame and not worrying about touchdown Jesus. Coach Huff and I talked about that the other day. He clearly instilled that in his football team. Don't get caught up in the history and tradition of Notre Dame. Just come play football. His team did that from the start and for 60 minutes. An incredibly impressive performance for the Marshall Thundering Herd.